Alcohol has been flying off the shelves as people try to combat boredom during the lockdown, with some reports estimate that alcoholic beverage sales have surged by 55% toward the end of March. The spike in alcohol sales has alarmed health experts and officials around the world, who are concerned that increased drinking could make people even more vulnerable to respiratory disease. If you're new to the channel or a long-time viewer, go ahead and smash that like button so more people can watch this video. And as always don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon, so you can be the first of your friends to get this, secret insider knowledge. Click the first link in the description to discover the step-by-step -step method to boosting your immune system and supercharge your body. The World Health Organization WHO, also suggested that people cut back on drinking since alcohol can increase the risk of experiencing complications from COVID-19. Alcohol consumption is associated with a range of communicable and noncommunicable diseases and mental health disorders, which can make a person more vulnerable to COVID-19. In particular, alcohol compromises the body's immune system and increases the risk of adverse health outcomes, the WHO stated. So to help everyone out here are six surprising ways alcohol affects your health, not just your liver. Some of the ways alcohol affects our health are well known, but others may surprise you. Here are six less known effects that alcohol has on your body. Though there is still limited data on the link between alcohol and COVID-19, past evidence shows alcohol consumption can worsen the outcomes from other respiratory illnesses by damaging the lungs and gut and impairing the cells responsible for immune function. 1. Drinking gives your body work to do that keeps it from other processes. Once you take a drink, your body makes metabolizing it a priority, above processing anything else. Unlike proteins, carbohydrates, and fats, your body doesn't have a way to store alcohol, so it has to move to the front of the metabolizing line. This is why it affects your liver, as it's your liver's job to detoxify and remove alcohol from your blood. Alcohol is known to impair sleep quality. And the less sleep a person gets, the higher their risk of getting sick. One study found that people who got less than seven hours of sleep were nearly three times more likely to develop a cold compared with those who got eight or more hours of sleep. A lack of sleep can also affect how long it takes for a person to recover if they do get sick, according to the Mayo Clinic. 2. Abusing alcohol causes bacteria to grow in your gut, which can eventually migrate through the intestinal wall and into the liver, leading to liver damage. Similarly, alcohol can trigger inflammation in the gut and destroy the microorganisms that live in the intestine and maintain immune system health. 3. Too much is bad for your heart. It can cause the heart to become weak cardiomyopathy and have an irregular beat pattern arrhythmias. It also puts people at higher risk of developing high blood pressure. 4. People can develop pancreatitis, or inflammation of the pancreas, from alcohol abuse. 5. Drinking too much puts you at risk for some cancers, such as cancer of the mouth, esophagus, throat, liver, and breast. 6. It can affect your immune system. If you drink every day or almost every day, you might notice that you catch colds, flu, or other illnesses more frequently than people who don't drink. This is because alcohol can weaken the immune system and make the body more susceptible to infections. When someone is exposed to a virus, the body mounts an immune response to an attack and kill the foreign pathogen. In general, the healthier a person's immune system is, the quicker it can clear out a virus and recover from a disease like COVID-19. By default, alcohol makes it harder for the immune system to gear up and defend the body against harmful germs. Take the lungs, for example, alcohol damages the immune cells and fine hairs that have the important job of clearing pathogens out of our airway. If the cells lining a person's airway are damaged from alcohol, then viral particles, such as COVID-19, more easily gain access, causing immune cells, which fight off infection, to not work as well, leading to increased overall risks of more severe diseases as well as complications, said Dr. Alex Moroschik McDonald, a practicing family physician in Southern California. How do I know if I'm drinking too much? Well, if you have you ask then you more than likely are already past the limit, but seriously everyone is different so it's unclear how much alcohol is too much and when it starts to impair the immune system. Past data shows binge drinking can have a massive effect on the immune system. 
Research has shown that high doses of alcohol, around 14 drinks per week or more than 5 to 6 drinks at a time, does directly suppress the immune system, and that alcohol abuse is associated with increased risk of infectious diseases. The article suggests drinking no more than a couple times a week, and only having 2 to 3 drinks at a time. What does this all mean? When the body is unable to clear a pathogen, an infection can worsen and lead to more severe, life-threatening complications. O.R. Stop drinking your way through quarantine and watch TV or read a book like everyone else. If you liked this video hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Want to have a stronger immune system? Click the link in the description to get your free 5-minute guide to boost your immunity. Thanks for watching 6 Ways Alcohol Affects Your Health and Immunity.